What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses will be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Pavanos wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook! Everybody's trying to fuck everybody! We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it! You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip? They ain't gonna turn up their nose at that! God, give me strength! It's like I'm dealing with children here! No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid! If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The Vanos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance! I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, huh, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! Better not be getting whacked! Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that...
a fucking dead man! The fucking Pavanos! If the We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico! Alright, let's get these slime ball bastards! People like that give Italians a bad name. Whatever happened to the honor society and all that shit? Can't say I know. They didn't even send a fucking combo. This is the declaration of war. The Pagarinos and the Pavanos are hitting the mattresses. You heard it here first. I saw it through the scope on that rifle. We're gonna get that gift back and make this crew pay for their disrespect. Come on! You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. The Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alderney. Eh? Even if it don't, then Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. Only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pecorinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! <laughs> 